Hey everybody, this is Tall Gamer Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So I want to apologize for not uploading any videos and going a war for a while. It's just that I have been so busy with work, my courses, and like buying presents for family members and racking them up, just getting ready for Christmas that I haven't had time. But I'm here now, and I'm here to start off with this video. Now, if you all remember, um, on December 6th, I made a video about what we know uh, about Max and Chloe are after Life is Strange 1, where they're going, what they might be doing. I'll leave that video, I'll leave that video in the link in the description below. So I thought I'd make a video based off Max and what she's doing after she chose to sacrifice Chloe to save Arcadia. So what I believe would happen is that Max's story would play out similarly to how it does in the in the ending where she sacrifices Arcadia Bay to save Chloe. Not the comic, the game one. Where they're travelling the world together and they're taking selfies and that. In We find out that Max has been trying out for art galleries, so I assume that she would still be doing the same thing as that. She would be putting her work out there and trying to uh, become a famous photographer. Now one of the things I am 100% certain of is that she would like keep in touch with Joyce because if you remember in episode five, David says that mentions to Sean if you ask him about his wife, he says that the two of them are divorced. But he also keeps in touch with Max. I mean, sorry, with Joyce. And I believe Max would also be keeping in touch with Joyce. Now, whether or not she is at Arcadia Bay is debatable. Um, I guess you could argue that after what happened with Chloe, she'd want, and how she had to save Arcadia Bay. I guess you could say that she couldn't stand to live in Arcadia Bay anymore and go back to Seattle to be with her parents. But then again, you could also argue that because of everything that happened, it's made Max... Because if you compare Max to the beginning of the game versus the end, she... She's a more braver, tougher person because of what she went through and, and because of her powers. So I guess you could say that she reluctant, reluctantly stays at Blackwell and she goes to finish through. She, she, oh, sorry, I'm getting tongue here. She basically sees her graduation of Blackwell. She sees that through to the end. And she would also, um, because she felt bad about what would happen with Chloe, because in this timeline, she never even got in touch with her, so I assume that she'd be in co more in contact with Joyce than usual. If you remember in the Life is Strange comic issue, issue, was it two? At the end of two, I believe it was, um, Mac, in one of Max's flickers, she ends up seeing Joyce, and Joyce is there, and she's looking at old photos, and she's talking to Max, because it's the anniversary of Chloe's death. Another thing I believe Max would do is also keep an eye on the news about Nathan Prescott and Mark Jefferson. Because, as if you remember, um, in episode 5, uh, I've still got to finish my walkthrough. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll finish, finish episode 5, that other walkthrough I'm doing. So, um, when I first played that, you find out that David's been keeping an eye on Nathan Prescott, and it says, and, and he's talking to Joyce about how, since he's a rich kid, he can get all these lawyers, but hopefully he won't get out of prison anytime soon, which is, I think if David's keeping an eye on that, I believe Max would be too, because what, why would it be fair that he goes, that he gets out of jail after Chloe dies? But there are people who would argue that Jefferson manipulated him and into doing everything, helping him kidnap girls for the dark room. And also people could argue that him shooting Chloe was an accident because when she pushes him, that's when the gun goes off. And there's unused dialogue where Nathan's like, um, you can actually find this somewhere, I forget where it was. Um, but if you look around the internet, you can find it. It's basically Nathan, he's like, oh shit, I didn't mean to shoot you, I'm sorry. He's like, please don't be dead. So, it, it really is people's interpretations of him. Some people think he's just a kid that's been manipulated. And me, I just think he's a piece of shit all around. Well, but we're not here to talk about Nathan, we're here to talk about Max. Okay, so, 
after her after she graduates Blackwell or if she chooses to leave Blackwell and go to Seattle um, I do believe she would be staying with her parents and she would um, spend her time trying to become a good photographer she would be taking photos entering them to art galleries trying to apply to become a famous photographer and I do think that she because she has two friends in Seattle named Kirsten and Fernando. So I believe that's their name. Sorry if I'm getting it wrong. So I do believe she'd hang out with them. And I do believe she'd also keep in contact with previous friends from Blackwell, such as Kate and Warren and various others. It, it really depends, like, um, how it plays out. Because was, um, it's not really clear who um, Max's friends are, because we don't get a proper importation system so some people were kind of nice to Victoria others like me were a bitch to her because let's face it she deserves it and some people were friends with Courtney and Taylor others weren't others were friends with one and not the other so it's really really how you play the game basically so I do think Max would also travel across the world and honestly it wouldn't be like how it is with Daniel and Sean because she'd be more experienced, um, we, oh, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied here. Because of her time travel abilities, it'd be easier for her to travel by herself. Like, like if she ever needed food or water and like that, she could just steal and rewind and be on her way. And then, so we can assume that she would also go to similar places that Max and Chloe went in the Sacrifice Arcadia Bay ending. So even though it's different, I, I do believe that Max, who sacrificed Chloe to save Arcadia Bay, would share a, um, a similar life to the Max who sacrificed Arcadia Bay. But at the same time, it would be different. I'm sorry if this video isn't really clear about it, but we don't actually get a clear sense about what Max has been up to if he chooses to save Arcadia Bay. So anyways, let me know what you think about the Max who sacrificed our, sacrificed Chloe to save Arcadia Bay. Where do you think she ended up and what do you think she's doing now? This is Total Camera Junkie, signing off.